Tell us about the vaccine first uh, First off with GSK. That was announced uh, a week ago or so. I guess it was announced on the 14th, so not that long ago. What does it involve? What's the platform in, in uh, the proof of concept that's been done with other vaccines, the, the method you're, you're using? So, well, good morning, Joe and all, and uh, thanks for having me uh, on. Yeah, it's, look, it's a big step. Firstly, it's a collaboration of two large companies bringing the best they have to try and do something to try and get us back to a normal life as soon as possible. So we hope to bring this vaccine through next year. We uh, believe that uh, we're one of the few companies, we're over 100 years old, Sanofi, we believe we're one of the few companies that will be able to make a vaccine at a huge scale. And we're talking 100, 400, 600 million doses next year, which is going to be required to get us there. You know, we also have another shot on goal, by the way, which is an mRNA, a sort of uh, cutting edge technology. And we're bringing both forward. We're the only company, I think, with two vaccines, two shots on goal. And we're delighted to be bringing them forward and, um, and trying to do something to help patients next year right across the world. Testing is also something that, that everyone thinks in lieu of the 18 months that you're talking about for a vaccine. Uh, if, if you knew or, or that you already had it, if you knew, uh, you know, who did and who didn't, who was susceptible. So there's a startup called Luminostics. So that what, you, what you're envisioning is a way for people not to go anywhere near uh, the, a healthcare worker or a hospital setting or a test, but completely able to do something at home, self-administer the test. Uh, and then can you go, go into how that will work and you get the results on your, there's an app on your smartphone. How does yeah. it exactly, what, what do you envision, Paul? Well, well let, let me just a step back, you know, getting to normal next year and restarting is going to be about vaccines and about people knowing whether they uh, have the virus or not. And, you know, um, we did the, the collaboration on the vaccine in three weeks for two large companies. And then at the other end of the scale, we partner with a small uh, startup um, in, in less than 14 days. And we did it because it's quite clear that people need to, and people want to know where they stand. Uh, do they have it or not? And they don't. Will, uh, they will not always get the opportunity to go to a healthcare center. Maybe they don't even want it. So um, using some cutting edge technology, uh, plugging it into your phone and using um, a saliva sample, you should be able to get a result in about 30 minutes. And we hope to bring this forward by the end of this year. And we think, you know, again, we're one of the few companies that's working on diagnostics, vaccines, and indeed treatments uh, for COVID-19. I think we're really at the forefront. We thought we needed to bring our expertise in uh, and in the areas to diagnostics to complete the picture. Interesting uh, to be able to do that. Can you talk about uh, a couple of therapeutics and one, one uh, obviously somewhat controversial. Uh, you did donate hydroxychloroquine, 100 million doses, and that's not the only one that, uh, that you're working on. And interesting that so many anti- or, or immune-related therapeutics, uh, like anti-rheumatoid arthritis drugs, might have some, some benefit here because of the uh, whatever it is that coronavirus does in the lungs in terms of cytokine storms, et cetera. So you have a, you're partnering with Regeneron. What are the prospects for Kevzara, and, and what do you think of hydroxychloroquine and its, its benefits? Well, you know, um, we started looking at these medicines because of early anecdotal feedback from China where many different approaches were tested. These medicines are approved for different illnesses, and we wanted to have no regrets. You know, if they'd been used experimentally, we wanted to step forward, do the clinical trials, do them at speed, and provide the medicines. It seemed like something we just simply had to do as a company. And, you know, and that's what we've done. And we're just a week or two away from knowing whether, um, whether they are effective and can change the course of the disease for patients. I don't think there's anything controversial. I think what really matters is to do the clinical study and find out. And we couldn't wait, because if we waited uh, before letting people know we would provide them, it was just unnecessary. So we've come to the front, we're making the drugs available, we'll do the studies, and if they demonstrate the effect, then we'll bring them forward for patients across the world. 